Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. Quiapo Church conducts a dry run of revised guidelines for mass goers ahead of its official start on Friday. Let's get more details of that dry run with Lynn Olivario reporting live from Manila. Lynn. Riza, the Quiapo Church in Manila reopened its doors today at 10% capacity. That's equivalent to 100 people at a time inside for today's dry run. The churchgoers observed the social distancing both inside and outside the church. The church management implements health protocols such as checking temperature of visitors, disinfection via foot bath, and providing alcohol. It has also opened only one entrance to monitor the crowd entering the church. After this, they will be directed to their seats with markings to show where they are allowed to sit. Which can hear the mass outside through the big screens and speakers. Other church staff help to ensure that there are only 100 people inside the church. There are also ushers who direct the movement of people after the mass. Assistant parish priest Father Douglas Badon reminds the devotees to follow the health protocols. He also said that holding of hands during Our Father or the Lord's Prayer is not required. Churchgoers should also avoid physical contact and should receive the Holy Communion by hand. Lay ministers distribute the communion bread so people don't have to fall in line to receive it. Some devotees of the Black Nazarene didn't miss the opportunity to hear Mass within the church premises. Janisha Francisco Jr., who wishes he could come closer to the Black Nazarene, is still thankful to be in Quiapo on Sunday. While Junji Manalo, a devotee of the Black Nazarene, is also grateful for the resumption of Masses as he wants to express his faith, most especially during the pandemic. Tama naman ito para makaiwas sa virus niya. Pinakamalaga sa buhay yung paglilingin sa kanya. Okay naman po kahit nasa labas lang. Tiis lang din po sa init. Nung mapagdasal lang po para sa bayan. Mawala po yung pandemic. Mapagdasal para sa pamilya. Ayun lang po. Riza, the last Mass was held earlier at 4 p.m. while the first one was held at 5 in the morning. The Quiapo Church will formally open its doors to 100 people inside at a time on Friday. In the meantime, those who wish to visit the Quiapo Church may be to Thursday, but will only be limited to, one, uh, to 10 people rather uh, at inside at a time. Uh, the bodies can also attend Masses online via Facebook live streaming. Riza. Thank you. That was Lynn Olivario reporting from the Capitol Church. Meanwhile, here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. The search and retrieval operations for the 14 missing Filipinos involved in the collision with Hong Kong flagged cargo ship MV Vienna Wood is extended until July 7. Now, data from the NCRP, NCRPO show the number of crimes in Metro Manila has decreased when the area was placed under general community quarantine. The NCRPO recorded around 2,400 crimes from June 1st to the 30th, compared to 3,100 crimes reported during the modified enhanced community quarantine. And the Office of the Vice President's Free Shuttle Service for Cebuan Health Workers and Frontliners front will start tomorrow. This is part of the OVP's COVID-19 response operations in Cebu City. And for more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit also our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and register or stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.